Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DMV. And my name is Laszlo and I do graphic design and illustration. In today's video, we'll be walking you through our Christmas gift ideas for designers. We thought that we'd do a video giving you guys some gift ideas for maybe some loved ones that you know who are either interior designers or graphic designers. If you're not part of any creative industries, then it can be quite confusing knowing what to get a designer for Christmas. But don't worry, because we're going to give you our top 10 Christmas gift ideas that any graphic or interior designer would love. This video is actually the third in our Vlogmas series, so feel free to subscribe so that you can enjoy more of our holiday-inspired content. All that being said, let's jump into the video. Okay, so let's start off with gifts for interior designers. Now, designers are renowned for having an abundance of notebooks and sketchbooks, and more can't hurt, right? The brands that architects and interior designers tend to go for is Moleskine, Leuchtturm, or Rodia. Out of the three, I'd recommend Rodi the most, to be honest. I've tried the Leuchtturm squared paper notebook, and to be honest, the paper is quite thin and I just cannot justify spending that much money on a moleskin. However, I know that a lot of designers like the moleskin or the Leuchtturm notepads, either the dotted or plain ones. I personally would recommend the Rodia A5 notebook because it comes in a range of colours and I find that it's the best quality paper. And it also comes with different kinds of paper as well. I prefer using a line spiral notebook for writing notes and if I like to do any sketches, I actually prefer to use a graphic paper pad. The one I'm using right now is from Puckerpad and it's fantastic because you can easily rip out pages and scan them into the computer. Personally, I like using an A4 pad to do initial sketches and the grid lines make it super quick for me to just draw out a design. However, when you see drawings like these, they aren't done on a moleskin or graph pad, they're actually done on bleed proof paper. Bleed proof paper is essential when it comes to creating quality hand rendered visualizations. The reason being when you're using quality marker pens, the ink won't bleed and it will blend seamlessly with the other colors. I recommend this one from Windsor and Newton. And I also recommend getting a larger size like this A3 one, just so that there's room for you to write some notes and also test out your pens. If you have any interior design or architecture friends, then chances are you know that they're pretty organised people. A week to view planner, a yearly planner, even a fancy to-do list is always very much needed and welcomed. Okay, let's spin this into gifts for graphic designers. You will see that there are going to be some serious overlaps between these two design professions, you know, gift ideas. So let me just say, yes, you can get the same sort of notebooks and sketchpads for your graphic designer friends as well. Although I find the graphic designers tend to be quite set in their ways when it comes to stuff like this, so it might be quite difficult to guess what sort of sketchpads do they actually prefer to use. I for one prefer the very simple, plain, inexpensive ones, something cheap that I don't mind ruining. For a lot of designers, notepads these days are essentially just safe places for idea generation and experimenting. You know, visual brainstorming to try out ideas very quickly that will eventually will live on a digital environment anyway. That being said, I have seen this very cool thing recently that now you can buy sketchbooks for UX designers and web designers in mind, which are filled with these empty device mockups. Like you would have pages where there is a simple black and white iPhone template or a laptop screen frame graphic, just so you can quickly buy a frame an idea for a website or an app very quickly in your notebook within these pre-installed templates, which is pretty cool. This is something that any digital designer could make good use of. Now, next on my gift ideas for interior designers follows on from my stationary theme from before. Designers are always jotting down ideas and sketching out designs, so I thought that it'd be good to include the best pens that I think that they'd love to get as a present. Firstly, if you're thinking of getting pens to recreate something like this, then you're going to need marker pens. Copic markers are deemed as the don in the pen world, but unfortunately they come with a hefty price tag. But feel free to buy them though if you're really wanting to impress a designer. But seriously, for a more reasonably priced and quality product, opt for the Windsor & Newton Pro Marker Set. They come in a huge variety of colours and lots of different sets as well, so you'll have no problem choosing an option. Now secondly, in the stationery department, interior designers tend to use fine liners a lot, either for sketching or some even use them for just everyday writing. The best on the market are the Pigma Micron fine liners, and I would say that they're good for anyone who draws very daintily or small images because they have very fine nibs. 
Now I tend to draw much larger and with more pressure so I find that the uni pin fine liners work the best for me. I've been using them for years and they last such a long time so I really recommend them. Okay, next on my gift ideas for graphic designers is a good quality mouse. There are lots of great mouses. Mice? Mouses? We think it's mouse. There are lots of great mouses out there. So instead of giving you specific items, I want to give you some pointers that you should be looking out for when you buy one of these. In my experience, a Bluetooth mouse tends to work better than one of those infraport ones with, you know, the little USB connectors. The connection is better, not to mention that you're actually saving a precious USB port in your designer's friend's computer. And yeah, also important to note that if you are looking to pair up the mouse with an Apple computer, plastic USB ports are obsolete on those, so USB ones are out of the question anyway. Personally, I use the Microsoft Surface Bluetooth mouse, which is a pretty solid option. It looks great, it works great as well. Although sometimes I wish it was a little chunkier, because this sort of sleek design doesn't really follow the palm of your hand, so after a day of heavy usage, you can feel a little discomfort in your fingers. If your heart is set on an Apple mouse, well, your choice. But all those Magic Mouse series, as lovely as they look, they are a little bit of a mermite in the design world. Some designers love them, some designers absolutely hate them. I think they are alright to be fair, but it does take some time to get used to the magic mouse, so take that into consideration. And that's my main point really, this is a tool that a designer will use all day every day, so it has to feel comfortable. As my last point, I'd like to mention that gaming mice tend to be quite comfortable, but if you can, please stay away from the overly fleshy, neon lighting, spaceship looking ones, because designers don't really like that kind of stuff. Simplicity is key in terms of looks. Next on my gift guide for interior designers is a laser distance measurer. Yeah. Should I do that? Absolutely. Yeah, you think I should? They're used mainly on site visits to measure things quickly, like the length of a wall, the ceiling height, even to calculate the area of a space, all by one click of a button. It may seem like a bit of a boring present, but designers will honestly love you if you get this for them. Whilst tape measures are always great, it can be a bit of a pain when you're measuring wider spaces, which is why a laser distance measurer is always a must have in my books. Interior designers and architects are notorious for hoarding a big collection of design books, so I wanted to show you my top picks. This book is called Form, Space and Order by Francis D.K. Ching, who is kind of like a master in the architectural book world. In fact, any book by him is going to make a great gift. This book is kind of like a manual for all things architectural. It gives a solid understanding of architectural principles, organisation and the primary elements that I think are actually fundamental when designing layouts within interior design. I really like it because the visuals that he does really tend to stick in your head and are also really detailed. His drawings are really good and there's so many in the book. The next book gift is for an interior designer who has an entrepreneurial spirit. It's Architect and Entrepreneur by Eric Reinhold and I actually got this book when we first started DNB, and it's been very very helpful. It's actually written by a fellow YouTuber who runs his own architectural practice in Maine. I'll link his channel now. It's a really good book that explains everything about starting up an architecture business, so it really should be on your Christmas list if you have any interior design business savvy friends. The next book is fundamental when it comes to interior design, and it's the Interior Design Reference and Specification book. It really holds technical information as opposed to easy to read pieces of text, but nonetheless it's a really important book. Next is any kind of design style book, which I love. This one is about Art Deco and it's by Ian Zaszek. And the other one I have is Living With Mid-Century Collectibles by Dominic Glutchins. But it really doesn't have to be those specific books. Just type in interior design styles into your browser and loads of options will come up. And last on my book collection is one that's actually just come out this week. And it's Form Giving by Bjark Ingalls. Bjark Ingalls is kind of known for being revolutionary in the archie world and he's actually my favourite architect. This book is a visual and written journey of the architectural practices projects from the beginning of time, to designing sustainably for the future, even to designing housing projects on Mars. A real forward-thinking design studio with some really good visuals in the book. In terms of books for graphic designers, I feel like Jacqueline has given you enough books to go through, but if I can just mention one, it would be this one. Draw Your Work by Austin Kleon. It's a very short book that you can basically go through in an hour or so. 
but it genuinely has changed the way I think about my creative process. It's focusing on how to make some noise around you and your creative work in this online dominated world, which is applicable to everyone who's doing anything creative these days. This was actually a gift that Jacqueline gave me, and I found it very influential as well as entertaining. It's one of the reasons why I started doing videos on YouTube, so there you go. Architects and interior designers in the 21st century would be nowhere without technology, which is why I'm going to give you my best tech gifts for interior designers. With the recent explosion of using iPads to sketch on, what better gift is there than an Apple pen? Now these are pretty pricey, but they're great if you're looking to spend a bit more and get a really big present for an interior designer. These days there are so many apps that designers use, so an Apple Pen will just give them more options to choose from. Designers and architects are infamous for spending hours on end in their studios, drawing out things and readjusting designs. And usually a lot of that time is spent with music playing in the background, which is why I think a Bluetooth speaker or a set of headphones would be a great present idea too. Now, the most expensive gift I have on my list is a DSLR camera, but I thought to include it in case you're thinking of a a really extravagant gift that you want to give someone. Designers are always using cameras, you know, for taking site photos, Instagram content, really anything. Most times you can't actually get that quality on a camera phone, so I'd really suggest using a digital camera. The one we're using right now is a Sony Alpha 5000, and it's kind of old at the moment, but some of the more recent Sony Alpha models I would really recommend. In terms of tech gifts for graphic designers, I definitely want to mention graphics tablets. These are essentially pointing devices, just like a mouse is, which turns your cursor into a little digital pencil so you can draw digitally. It's primarily targeted at digital illustrators, but I know a lot of designers like to use them in their workflow as well. In terms of which one to get, Wacom is the household brand that you should be looking at, and honestly, all their products are solid choices. The price range does vary a lot. There is the Cintiq range, which is the prices of well up to the thousands. But honestly, even the compact ones like the Wacom one that I'm using is such a solid choice for graphic design work. I own a number of different tablets and this is by far my favorite one so I can wholeheartedly recommend it. Now in terms of stylish fashion items, I think that a sleek laptop case or bag would always be very much appreciated as a present. Designers usually have to carry their laptop from meetings and to different locations, and why not do that in style? Now, this seems pretty obvious, but make sure that you actually get the right size laptop case because it's not a one size fits all situation. Another item that designers always need is the portfolio case. I like using a weatherproof A3 sized one to transport my drawings and mood boards in. They're relatively low prices online, so you can go for a more elaborate one if you want to. The last graphic designer gift I want to mention is some sort of digital storage solution. More is more when it comes to hard drive space, so this is a universally excellent gift for anyone who's doing any design work. External hard disks, HDDs, are on the brink of becoming a somewhat old-fashioned technology which is great in a way because while they are still widely used, now you can get some huge storage capacity ones for quite good prices. If you speak IT language, you know that SSDs, solid state drives, are the new storage technology that's came into place to replace HDDs. SSDs are great because they are crazy fast in comparison to the old-fashioned HDDs, but since it still counts as quite new tech, these hard drives are quite expensive. External SSDs are a big thing now, and you know, with Black Friday coming up, you might get yourself a great deal on one of those, but generally speaking, I would still recommend an external HDD, especially if money is an issue. As a last thought, I also want to state the obvious and remind you that you can actually buy cloud storage these days instead of these physical objects. But yeah, it's up to you to decide if digital gifts are something you want to consider. I would intrude it out, especially since we are selling some digital products now. It's convenient, it doesn't overwhelm the posting, and delivery service systems, which is a big plus this year. Now, let's talk about what not to get. First off, I'd say that novelty items like this or home decor items are both big no-nos. Interior designers probably don't want novelty mugs and they're probably quite picky when it comes to choosing home decorations. Although I kind of do like these fun Lego architecture sets. But if you do want to get a home decor gift, then I'll suggest getting anything made by a famous designer. Maybe the Juicy Salif by Philippe Stark, or pretty much any product by Alessi. Over the next coming weeks, we will be releasing even more Christmas design related videos for Vlogmas, so stay tuned for those. If you're new, then welcome. On this channel, we talk about interior design, architecture, illustration, content creation, and graphics. So if any of that interests you, 
make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that you really do support our channel. Let us know in the comment what your favourite gift idea was, or if you're a designer, maybe write a comment leaving some more suggestions. Okay guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.